Well, good day. My name is Tony Botting. I'm a finite element specialist at Go Engineer. Today we'll be talking about aspect ratio of finite elements in a mesh. And one of the reasons is you might be asked about what's the maximum aspect ratio in your mesh. So we'll talk about what it is, uh, why do you care, and what it should be. What we're looking at here is what you could consider a coarse mesh and I've got a beam here or a component being bent and there's a stress showing up in there and you can consider this kind of a coarse mesh. So the aspect ratio you can generate a plot of that if you right click on the mesh icon and choose create mesh plot. There's an item labeled aspect ratio so you can plot that and you get a legend here and I'll double click the legend and show the max. That's showing up about 9.2 and so what does that mean? Uh, I've got an element here that I developed and here's a four-sided tetrahedron and so what they're doing in the software for each and every element they're dropping a normal from a face to uh, sorry the the vertex opposite that face and you can see the black line here there's a distance of about 2.7 and that's obviously the largest dimension there the element aspect ratio I've written with a little pen tablet here or AR is the largest element dimension divided by the smallest element dimension, so it's just a ratio. So we've obviously uh, measured the distance here of the largest element dimension. We'll do the same for the smallest element dimension, but first I'll record that right here. We'll clear this. We'll look for a small dimension, so perhaps from, perhaps from the vertex here to an opposite face. I'm going to get distance of about 1.27. Let's assume that's the smallest dimension, 1.27. So we'll ratio those two with the calculator, and I think I've already done that here, but it's 2.7 over 1.27, and that's 2.1 is the ratio, uh, or the aspect ratio of that element. So what's a good aspect ratio? Well, it turns out the aspect ratio of a perfect element is 1, meaning it would be a much more unilateral or equilateral looking uh, object here and this is kind of stretched stretched out so it turns out that can be less than or equal to 5 so the perfect element I'll just write that here perfect AR is approximately equal to 1.0 and what we want are 5 for structural and some analysts like to use three. In fact, in the software, they use three for kind of a limiting number. Um, it turns out that if you're doing thermal analysis, you can get away with something of about 20. And by thermal analysis, I mean temperature fields only. Temperature fields only. Because as soon as you couple a thermal analysis into a structural analysis to get the thermally induced stress or thermally induced strain, then you've got to have an aspect ratio less than about 5. So how can you control that? Well, we'll go in here, and you do have some control over it. Here I've generated, we had the mesh quality for this one showing up, maximum was about 9, and that's not a good ratio. We want less than about five. So I've gone to study three, put in a mesh control in the fillet here, and we'll show the mesh quality. And we're getting a maximum of about 4.6, and it shows on the legend there. And I'll zoom in on that element. You can see it's a little bit stretched out, but it's still under uh, five, which is probably okay. We'll look at the stress here. We see the stress goes up. It's, it's moving towards convergence as you refine the mesh more and more. So you can also get some details off the mesh icon to show in the find an element model how many elements or the percentage of elements with an aspect ratio less than about 3 is 99.7. So that's pretty good. Uh, what you want to do here, of course, is look for aspect ratios less than that criterion, that 5 criterion that we had. Um, if there are elements away from the structural gradients or stress gradients, then it's probably okay if some of the elements out here in, in the blue area where it's a uniform blue color, wherever it's a uniform color, the aspect ratio could be a little bit high and you'd be fine. So that's just an introduction to aspect ratio for elements. And again, it's just the ratio of the largest dimension on the element divided by the smallest dimension. A perfect aspect ratio is about 1 you can go to something 
uh, less than or equal to 5 for structural and less than or equal to 20 for thermal where you're doing temperatures only and you can control it to some extent by putting in mesh controls. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a good day.